let's go ahead and do this chakra analysis with the relationship between Stephen Twitch Boss and um his uh widow Allison Holker. Allison Holker. So what is at the root? Got the King of Cups. Um, what is at the sacral? What's going on at the sacral region? Seven of coins. Okay, an investment. An emotional investment at that. What's going on at the solar plexus? We have the sun card. Okay, so interesting. An announcement, possibly. An announcement was made. What? Okay, we got the two of cups at the heart in reverse. What's going on at the throat? The Knight of Swords, Throat Chakra card. Okay, that's in alignment. We about to see what's the T with that. What's going on at the third eye? The Death card. Oh my gosh. And what's going on at the crown? Queen of Coins. Woo. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess card. Okay. So, let me just pull these over to the side. Let's twitch. Okay. So, just based on looking at this uh, spread, in general, I don't see no root chakra cards. I don't see any heart cards. I don't see, um, of course, there's a solo places card at the bottom of the deck, but not within this whole entire spread. Um, of course, I said no heart chakras cards um of course the throat region is in alignment um we'll probably clarify that third eye we have one two we got two third eyes and then we got three crown chakra cards so to some sense, this may be him speaking due to the fact that there's more crown chakras than you know with the crown chakra that deals with the higher realms, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So the root chakra uh, region, we have the king of cups and that is a crown chakra card, obviously. So with that, that is basically talk um, the king of coins card. In this particular deck, I mean cup, excuse me, is the king of emotional agreements. Um, you are ready to create your dreams and your own style and stay connected to your own life path. Your message, your voice matters. So this is like loyalty at the foundation. Was the loyalty there? Was the protectiveness there? Were there was there fairness? Uh, and all sorts of things, okay? Emotional support and strength exist somewhere in the family region. And were they ready to use it? And, oh, that's where that emotional intelligence come into play. Where's that card at? Um, oh, that was within the deck that I, yeah. Emotional intelligence. That's at the bottom of the deck. Boom. 
emotional intelligence it was at the root of this got it thank you thank you spirit um to see where the loyalty lies where the loyalty lies there had been some sort of compromising oppositions um also possibly scarcity tactics because again when the root is affected you act off of scarcity uh um you start to do those scarcity tactics so i'll put that in there too um so yeah all right bet thank you um on to the sacral region we have the seven of coins um and the seven of coins is like an in um an investment uh in regular tarot it deals with an investment okay but in this particular deck it deals with the time of financial evolution um something must be removed to make room for new there is financial and material gain mixed with healing it deals with tenacity restraint progress pondering relentlessness and crossroads so there was a feeling of a financial evolution to where there was a crossroads in a financial aspect, in a material aspect, in a resourceful aspect. Um, hmm. Interesting. Um, interesting. Some sort of reward and investment. Let's get the tea on that. Let's get the tea on that. Okay. Uh, what's the tea with the seven of coins in the... Psycho chakra. Why is that there? I don't usually do this, y'all, but um, I just gotta know. Inside scoop. A look closer. Nosy up in your business. Okay. At the bottom of the oh, here we go again. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. What's going on at the middle? Thief. Rob loss. Physical, emotional. Yeah. Interesting. Um, <laughs> with the seven of coins. Did they have to pay somebody off with this particular situation? Hmm. Who's in your prosperity ancestry had material prosperity? Manifesting abundance may be what you came here to do. Resistance indicating fearing of losing what you have. Mm, so there was a feeling of relentlessness, the tenacity. There was a feeling of progress. But something must have been done to make room for new. Because there was Financial and material gain mixed with healing. Mm. Interesting. And wow, wow, wow. This is the second time that card came out. So take what you want. Take what you want out of it, okay? Again, all this is alleged now. The sun card in the solar plexus region. Um... Even though this is a third eye chakra card, this it, to to a certain degree, it um it's within alignment. To, uh, intuitively, there was some positive um some warmth within the relationship with them. Um, excuse me. This is a faded card as well. That that's what I. There's two faded cards in their spread. And um, interestingly, you know, the third eye is in the solar plexus in the, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so um, there was, they had fun. Um, of course, it provided warmth. There was some sense of positivity between them. And they were able to gain success from each other um, to a certain degree. And using their self-expression because... 
the um young lady in this picture her dress is in the color blue and blue deals with throat chakra they were able to um live in their truth um uh, be their true authentic self to uh, um and they were able to be successful while doing so as well especially twitch um moving forward to the heart chakra card here we um or heart chakra region we have the two of cups in reverse and that's a sacral chakra card so there was a feeling of <coughs> excuse me there was a feeling of of a breakup an imbalance in a relationship a lack of harmony so mm, interesting there was a feeling of wow where the heart where where were they hearts at there was a feeling of of a breakup there was no mutual respect between the two there was no harmony the thrill is gone or close to being gone interesting that's interesting on that one mm. I would clarify it, but I'm going to go to the next one. <laughs> um, the Knight of Swords in the Throat Chakra region is in alignment. With that being alignment, and the Knight of Swords is basically um, a person that is opinionated, hasty, and action oriented and very communicative. This may have been um Twitch. This is giving me Twitch energy because he is a Libra, right? And the swords the sword suit holds the um air placements, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? So with that being said, this is the card of rapid results. Uh, when he attempted to understand his present situation, he looked back 90 days. Uh, wherever he was then is where the night began his journey. So 90 days before the unthinkable happened, that is where his journey begins. And um, he brought some twitch. He brought some sense of uh, assertiveness and um, intelligence and wit and quick thinking so with that being said um let's see also the shocker message for this card it says the time it is the time for communicating may be passed action is now necessary things may or may not resolve in a way you like but they will um at least be complete interesting let me clarify that. Let's clarify that. Even though, even though it's an alignment, I I just want to see y'all. How far are we? Almost steady progress. Uh, road trip. Enjoying the journey. He was enjoying the journey. Harder than blue blazes, passion, sensuality, chemistry, longing, instant crush. They're going to instant crush again. What? 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 Was it? Was it with this? Interesting. Was it with this type of things? Interesting. Okay. Um, Third eye. We have the death card. That is a faded card. And with the death card, um, that is in the mastery phase of a fool's journey. So with that being said, there was some um, releasing energy, ending of cycles. Also, um, stepping out of the comfort zone. There was no need to live in the heaviness of the lack of certainty begins. However, when letting go of terminal vagueness, there are ways the clarity of internal peace. So this is higher self ending illness, 
universal understanding completion so intuitively intuitively something was about to come to an end she probably knew something was coming to to an end because there's a lady in this image and I'm doing analysis on the relationship between him and her. She knew that it was near. The time is near. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, moving forward with the crown chakra, we have Queen of Coins. In the um, as the third eye chakra card, so intuitively, there was a material gain from all this. Um, the Queen of Pentacles and regular tarot deals with practical, homely, down to earth, and security. With this particular deck here. The Queen of Coins is the card of luxurious lifestyle, um, indicating learning an intuitive path is not always meditating or playtime. Rather, it can be fraught with ups and downs, reliability, organization, prosperity, genuineness, homemaker. The chakra message for this card is if you have been fighting against your own magnetizing and calling it bl a block, this may be an inheritance to disown. You have a choice to live a world of block or the world of manifesting. When we lift our energy towards honoring our heritage, then we have access to... This is her. This is her. She knew. She knew, y'all. She knew. This is the card of material gain. She knew that she was about to... And look. In the beginning, what's blocked? What is blocked? The crown chakra. To heal the crown chakra, practice living a minimalistic lifestyle or using crystals or going outside to help you experience spiritual growth and feel more connected. Girl, spiritual bath. That's what she needed to do. And prayer. Prayer. Oh my gosh. With this prayer card being a solar plexus card, goes right back to here. I will go. I go right back to here. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! This is insane. Okay, so that's what's going on in analysis. Let me hurry up and wrap this up because I'm going overboard. Oh my goodness. Wow. So. What lesson? Dang. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Bottom of the deck. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight and awareness. Wow. Uh, okay, this is them as a whole. I was going to do it individually, but never mind. It already came out. <laughs> How could they have improved the situation? How could they improve their relationship? Okay, three cards came out. These two came together. Karmic completion, health, change. Interesting. This was a, sounds like this was a um, service card. Um, karmic completion. Oh 
moment completion. There goes that compromising change. No. Interesting change. May have been forced. Interesting. Um let's see what else. Let me pull this over to the side. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask Twitch for this. Twitch, what is what message would you like for us to know? Child endings. Skull endings. And destiny. Was this destined to happen? Um, let's see what else. Uh, we have 11 here. We have Friday and then we have March and September. Interesting. So with the ending card that's talking about, uh, it's a powerful symbol of mortality, but this card also symbolizes full circle of life, both endings and how those endings birth new beginnings. Um, you could be experiencing the ending of a relationship. There goes that in a relationship, job or phase in your life. It's imperative that you give yourself space to grief this ending. Allow time and space to accept it and process your emotions, whether it's welcome and has been a long time coming or is sudden and unexpected change is often uncomfortable but this symbol is urging you to look at endings with a different perspective the plants ensure uh growing from the skull vase on this card symbolizes the growth that can occur after the end endings act as fertile ground for whatever you decide the plant next Give yourself grace as you experience these transitions and prepare for a fresh start. Um, also, additional meanings for the card. Mourning, grief, letting go, difficulties are ending, accepting things that you cannot change. Uh, with this destined card, the additional meanings for that, an urge to pursue a calling, significant fated events are occurring, occurring discovering your purpose, enhance spiritual guidance or gift. So it seems like he was in the midst of his own self-discovery, but by the time he was able to truly live in it, it was cut short. And then I'm going to end it on this here. Because, look, visionary. You are learning to uh, synthesize all of your creative ideas to action. Bottom of the deck, universal mind, you're about to receive the solution to your problem or concern. Angel numbers. Self-love. You're learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me see if I, there's any numbers. Grief came out a lot. Oh, wow. Well, y'all, that concludes the reading for Stephen Twitch Boss and um, his um, widow, Allison Holker. And uh, let me know down in the comment section what you all think about this message. Um, of course, so be delight to you all. And may Twitch's soul continue to rest peacefully in internal sleep uh, or in internal. Uh, and also, always remember to love thyself, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself. And if you would like the book of reading with me, Feel free to scan that QR code and, of course, book. Feel free to book with me and let's connect.